Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look, first thoughts look, at Slay the Spire, which is a deck builder roguelike. Um, I haven't actually played it, I've seen it played, it kind of reminded me of Steamworld Quest, a game I've played on this series before. Um, but it is a deck builder, meaning that a lot of the play involved, like, revolves around getting more cards to add to your deck. It was heavily inspired by the actual card game Dominion, which I love according to the Wikipedia page. Um, basically, yeah, a lot of the gameplay is you're using your existing cards to acquire better cards and improve your overall deck, is the idea. So let's have a look and see if it's good. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't launched it yet, so. Mega Crit. That's the company that made it. I don't know a whole lot about them. I did a little bit of research to make sure they weren't obviously bad, but I think they're okay. Presented by Humble Bundle. I believe they released on Humble Bundle first and then went on to other platforms after that, which just seems pretty cool. Okay, so we've got three save slots. Uh, you can have one crystal, two crystals, or three crystals. I'll have one. Enter your name. Uh, Danny, I guess. I'm not sure why it needs me to enter a name for the save file, because I'm already logged in as my user. Um, Alright. Slay the Spire. Play settings. Let's have a quick look at the settings. Uh, we got game settings. I can turn off some effects and stuff. I imagine you could turn this off if you've, if you've got um photosensitivity, which is useful. Uh, we've got some accessibility things here. Bigger text, long press confirmations. Uh, you can change some of the colors and things. I assume it defaults to like red and green or something like that, which is not good if you happen to have red green color blindness, so you can change that. That's my guess anyway. Um, then there's input settings. You can make, remap all the controls if you want by the looks of things, so that's good. Yep, looks good, looks good. Okay, uh, and then there's the credits. You can look at those if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna play the game. <laughs> I might look at them later. Okay, so I haven't unlocked these other modes yet, so I can only go to standard, embark on a quest to slay the spire. I only have one class so far, which is this guy. It looks like I can unlock these ones by playing the game some more. Alright. The Ironclad. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood. At the end of combat, heal 6 HP. 5 unlocks remaining. 0 out of 300 to next unlock. I don't really know what all this information means at this point. Um, and I can, I can see I can set seed. So you could use that to stop it from randomizing, basically. There's a feature like that in um, Dead Cells as well. So if you wanted to do like a competitive speed run or something, you could give both players the same seed and then it, they would get the same randomizing. Um, which is handy. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play normally. But just to mention that it's there as an option. <laughs> Act 1, Exordium. Select a starting room. Okay, so you can pick which beginning point you want to go from. Uh, I'm going to go here, I guess. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you're out, end your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn your energy is replenished. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage that but wears off at the start of your next turn. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Alright. Um, an enemy is intent on attacking me, so I will gain 5 block. That sounds good. But I'm also going to attack with something. Most of these cards are defense, actually. Uh, I'm going to use my bash. Can I pick you to bash? I guess I'll bash the spike slime. There we go. And then I will defend. And then I'm out of energy, so I'll end my turn. Y button. Okay, now I only have strikes, so I can't, um, defend myself, but I can hit them a lot, so that's cool. Out of energy, hmm. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here, because I couldn't defend myself. 
Tip, no more cards. If there are no cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. That makes sense, that's exactly how it works in um, Dominion. When your discard pile, like when your, draw, when your draw pile runs out, you shuffle your whole discard pile and it becomes a new draw pile. Like that. Slimed, exhaust, removed until end of combat. I think that means I, I basically draw fewer cards because I get five cards and this one can't do anything useful. I believe that's the idea. Uh, okay, we need 10 blocks, so we're gonna have to defend twice. There we go, and then we can strike. Okay, we're doing well, doing well. Um, hmm. Okay, let's defend. He's going to attack again, or it's going to attack again. Or they're going to attack again. I don't know the acid slime's pronouns. It says M. I don't know if that's like medium size, or if that's a gender marker, or if that's something else. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm out of strikes. Cards require energy to play. So when the one on the left indicates how much energy you have running for the turn. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was hoping I'd make it vulnerable and then hit it again, but I can't. So I'll take two damage. Yeah, and I got slimed again. Okay, more cards, more cards. Okay, uh, let's see. Defend. It looks like the enemy stays weak for two turns, so vulnerability. Uh, was helpful. I won! Yay! Loot! Uh, let's see, 12 gold. Do I pick one of these things instead of both? It looks like it, yeah. Then I can add a card to my deck. Let's see. I can add two strength for a turn. Deal six damage at a copy of this card into your discard pile. Warcry. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Exhaust. Okay, exhaust. That means it's like a one-use card, basically. Um... Hmm. Let's add Anger. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I get the gold as well? Okay, so you do get all the treasures, you just have to pick them one by one. Okay. Uh, on we go. A friend. Or an enemy, I guess. Uh, they're not attacking yet, according to the little icon, I think. They're not, they're not showing, like, a sword. I don't know what the icons mean yet, so I'm gonna assume that's not attacking. Uh, okay, they're a cultist. Let's hit him three times with these strikes, and then next turn. Okay, that ritual buffed them in some way. I don't know how it's done. Can I, can I look at them and see? Ritual. At the end of its turn gains three strength. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I need to block. I'm guessing the problem with Anger is that it will overwhelm your deck because it makes copies of itself, so you end up with just Anger and no ways to defend. Looks like strategically this is quite similar to Dominion, which is interesting. One of my favourite cards in Dominion uh, makes a copy of itself every time you play it. Uh, it's, it's the rats. I love the rats. You can sing the rats song when you play it. It's great. <laughs> uh, okay, they're gonna do 9 damage, so I need to defend twice to be safe from that, and then I can do a strike. So yeah, this this is notably, noticeably similar to uh, Dominion in terms of how my deck is moving around. But also different, because Dominion doesn't really have a combat system. So that's cool. Um, attacking for 12, good gracious. Um, hang on, what does that little sword at the bottom mean? Oh, I see, it has a strength buff and an aggressive buff. Uh, hmm. I can defend for 10, so I think I will. And then I'm gonna bash. No, I can't bash. I'll do a regular strike. There we go. So that'll do two damage, yeah. Oh, whoops. Okay, I got strike. Huh. Okay, you're allowed- oh, okay. You're allowed to peek at your discard pile and your draw pile, but this one is sorted by rarity rather than uh, by, like, what card you're actually going to get. Interesting. I have no defensive cards now, so I'm just going to spam attacks. Uh, I think using two strikes will be enough, though. Yes, it will. Excellent. Elixir. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. Okay, so you can use that to make the card go away? I guess? I'm not sure why that's useful. I guess, I guess if you didn't want certain cards, you could get rid of them by using the elixir. Uh, potions, stay with you between rooms, alright. Add a card to my deck. Um, 
Hmm. All enemies, you say? Hmm. I'm going with fun Thunderclap. That sounds good. Okay. I believe this game is quite hard, so I don't know how I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, there are two enemies here, so let's have a look at what the stats they've got. Curl up. On receiving attack damage, rolls up and gains 7 block once per combat. Intends to attack for 5 damage. When they roll up, do they stop attacking? Because that would be useful. Um, okay, I can defend against 10, so let's block myself and then do a strike. Curl up wears off, but they have 7 defense now. Okay, yeah, they're still going to attack me, so blocking was a good idea. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let me see. You need a thunderclap, 4 damage and 1 vulnerable to all enemies. Uh, I also want to block for 5. Thunderclap. Uh, and then I can take out that guy with the strike. There we go. Next turn. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. It's fun. Um, okay, they're not going to attack, so I'm going to bash him. Um, and then I think just hang on. To no, you actually discard your whole, your whole hand every turn, like in Dominion, so... Gotta watch out for that. I'm now weakened, but I didn't take any damage, so that's okay. I am just gonna strike you and win. Cool. Uh, I get 14 gold, add a card to the deck. Um, okay, Clash looks powerful, but I'm probably not gonna have all attacks in my hand, because I have things like block and stuff. Although if I play my block cards, they're not in my hand anymore, so then I can play this after that. Hmm. Let's get Clash. So yeah, um, in Dominion, you you have access to all the possible cards, and you buy them based on what money cards you have in your hand. Here, it just gives you a card after each battle to choose from, which is a little different, but I, I think functionally it's fairly similar. Uh, okay, they're going to attack me, so let's get some block. Uh, and then let's do some clash. Bam. And then let's strike. And strike again. Uh, I'm going to use Anger to take out that beast. There we go. And now I'm out of cards, so I'm going to have to take the next hit. Yeah. Okay, uh, I can block that. I can play both of these blocks, and then I'll be shielded. There we go. I was actually vulnerable, so the good thing... Oh, on death applies to vulnerable. I didn't notice that. That is scary. Uh, let me see. I want to use Clash again, do a 14 damage, but I need to, to do that. I need to block first to make all the non-attack cards come out of my hand. There we go. Hit with that, and then hit with a regular strike. Victory! <laughs> I'm guessing this particular car like character is basically the easy mode because you regenerate health. Um, which makes sense to start with that as a tutorial sort of thing. Heart of Iron gains 6 Metallicize. I don't know what that does. Uh, add a card to your deck. Hmm. I gain 2 energy exhaust. That's pretty good, but it costs 1 energy. Hmm. Dual wheel. Choose an attack or power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Deal 9 damage, draw 1 card. I like Pommel Strike. I'm going to Pommel Strike. Cool. Uh, unknown. Let's look at the unknown. What could it be? You come across, across a dapper-looking, cheery gremlin. It's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. Play. Uh, this looks a bit scary. Y button? It's interesting that Y is the confirm button in this game often. Is that damage? Do I take damage? Uh-oh. You lose. You spot him readying a shiv. Prize? Lose 8 HP. You slash at the crazy gremlin. Oh, language. Ugh. The the unpleasant gremlin, but he's simply too quick. He gets to you a few times with a crude shiv. The price has been paid. And with that, both the gremlin and its wheel disappear in a puff of smoke. Okay, that didn't go well. Uh, but we can go up to the rest stop now, so that's cool. Okay, so we can heal, or we can upgrade a card in our deck. 
We have nearly full health, so I think probably smithing is better. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the upgrades do yet, so I'll try upgrading a defend. Oh, it makes it makes it just block more than it used to. Okay, I see. Um, I think better defense is a good idea, so I might do that. Defend plus. Cool. Uh, let's check out this unknown. It might be something good. Might be another trap though. We'll see. Welcome. Oh, it's a merchant. Okay, so you can buy cards from the merchant to add to your deck, um, which is handy. Uh, I have plenty of money. I can buy a decent amount of stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Violence, put three random attacks. Hmm. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. Hmm. I think Flame Barrier sounds pretty good. 12 block and it damages things that hit you. Uh, I can afford to buy something else, so I might. Uh, whenever a card is exhausted, gain three block. Hmm. I don't have a whole lot of exhausting cards, so I'm not sure that's super useful. Uh, let's pick it up and see how we go. Thank you, merchant. Uh, let's see. I don't really need to rest, so let's upgrade something else. Uh, let me see. I can't upgrade my Defend Plus again, but I can upgrade pretty much anything else in here, by the looks of things. Can I upgrade Anger? It goes from 6 to 8. Uh, it's not great. I'm guessing these are also 6 to 8. No, 6 to 9. Um, hmm. Formal Strike? Ooh, that looks good. 10 damage draw 2 cards. Yeah. Proceed. Uh, treasure. I like treasure. 53 gold and a happy flower. Every three turns, gain an energy. Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. So the happy flower, it, it gives me an extra energy every three turns, I think that was. Yeah, let's go to an unknown again. Let's see what it is. You come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. You sure don't see any traps nearby? <laughs> Hope Tango Girl Knight will trigger a trap. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave that. If there was ever an obvious trap, this would be it. You decide not to interfere with objects placed upon pedestals. Uh, let's get Smith in. What else can I upgrade? Uh, Bash? Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. It makes Vulnerable last another turn, and it makes it do more damage. Yeah. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> okay, battle time. Here we go. Uh, are, you, are you a monster or just a person? Oh, Slaver. Yes, you're a monster. Okay, goodbye. Um, I'm jacking for 12 damage, so I need to hit you pretty hard. Uh, let me see. Does feel no, how long does Feel No Pain last? Like, does it stick around after you've played it? Let's find out. Three turns. Okay. Cool. Eh, that was probably worth doing. Uh, I can't really exhaust any of my cards is the only thing. Uh, let's defend and then strike. I'm going to take a bit of damage. Yeah. Not great. Uh... Okay, let's lead with Pommel Strike, I reckon. Oh, maybe Clash. If I defend first, then everything is an attack, so let's defend. Then I can Clash for free. There we go. Then I can do a Pommel Strike. And then I can defend again, and I'm safe. Nice. So, you're getting the idea of this game. It's very strategic. <laughs> Oh, is my sword broken or something? What's that mean? Weakened. Attacks deal 25% less damage for one turn. That's not good. Um. Hmm. Okay, Flame Barrier sounds pretty good. Uh, that'll block every all the damage, so I can play that. And then I can strike twice with strike. And I can also play Anger. I think it, it doesn't come back after the single battle, so... 
Like, you can keep playing it, and then it won't fill up your deck, because it's only a one battle thing, I think. Uh, let me have a quick look. See, I only have one copy of it in my actual deck. Oh, I'm out of, out of, out of stuff. That's right. End turn. Okay, being hit is clearly weakening me, even though I'm okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll just do a pommel strike. That's all, just regular strike. That's all we need. There we go. Job done. Uh, gold block potion. Gain 12 block. Add a card to your deck. Uh... Deal damage equal to your block. That's interesting. Uh, reckless charge. Deal 7 damage. Shuff shuff shuffle a dazed into your draw pile. Unplayable. Ethereal. I think that basically means you just get one less card once it comes back. Uh, vulnerable. Hmm. Let's get Reckless Charge. Let's see how we go. Check out the mystery. <laughs> you walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. Hoo-hoo. Hello, hello. What have we got here? Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Uh, let me see. That sounds like a bad idea. It'll curse me with doubt, but it gives me a bunch of money. I think I disagree. The serpent stares at you with a look of extreme disappointment. Thievery? What does thievery do? Looter steals 15 gold whenever it attacks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't have a lot of cards that get exhausted, so feel no pain doesn't do a whole lot. Hmm. Let's start with a pummel strike, I reckon. Um. Is that whenever it attacks, not when it deals damage? So. I can't use block to stop it from taking my money. Uh, I will block. And then I'm gonna do... Strike. And... I'm gonna do Reckless Charge. Let's go. Okay, that gives me a dazed card into my pile there. Okay. Um, end turn. Yeah, they got some gold. I'm guessing using the flame barrier won't help me stop that, which is annoying. Uh, but I will deploy it anyway, because flame barriers are awesome. Yeah, they, uh, they still took my coins even though it didn't do any damage. So yeah, that's annoying. Unplay- if this card is in your hand at the end of turn, it is exhausted. Okay, so... Ethereal cards count as exhausted, so I can use that to uh, get those other cards to... Oh, but I can't I can't play Clash because I'm dazed. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't matter, I'll just play Strike. End of battle. <laughs> 30 gold stolen back. Okay, so I got the gold back that was taken from me. That's good. Um, gain 8 block, draw 1 card. That sounds good. Being able to block and draw another card so I can keep going. Let's continue. <laughs> uh, let me see. I heal 24. I'm down by 5, so 24 is kind of a waste. I'll leave that. I'll probably upgrade something instead for the moment. How much does Flame Barrier give you? Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, shrug it off. 11 block drawing card. Doesn't give you 2 cards or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Let's upgrade Flame Barrier. There we go. Proceed. Oh, we're nearly... Is this the end? Is this like the boss battle or something? Oh my. Mode shift. I don't know what that does. Mode shift. After receiving 30 damage, changes to a defensive mode. Intends to block on its turn. Okay, so... I guess I should start by attacking a lot and not bother to block. Uh, because it's going to block.
And I'm out of energy. That looks scary. Okay, it's gonna attack for 32 damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, let's play Shrug it off. And let's play Defend. And let's Clash. Oh, Mode Shift wears off. Is it now not gonna attack? Okay, 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 that's good. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, uh, in turn. Okay, it's back in defensive mode, I think. Let me see, sharp hide. Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. Ooh, that's nasty. Um... Does using- does being blocked protect me from that? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes it does. Okay, cool. Okay, we've got a lot of cards here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Eight times two. Hmm. Well, I'm going to really defend as much as I can, which is not a lot. Uh... In turn. Hmm. Twin slam. Yeah, that was not good. Oh my goodness. Five times four? Okay. Um giving forty damage changes the defense to offensive mode. Uh let's play shrug it off. Uh and then flame barrier. And then defend. Okay, we have quite a bit of def a bit of defense now. Uh so we should be okay to shrug it off. As the game implies, as the name implies. Yeah, and just damage damage them instead. Awesome. Uh, okay, so now they're planning to defend. So I'll just not play those for now. There we go. Oh, I should have played more. Yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, okay. They're going to attack for 32? My goodness. Uh, put up a flame barrier. And then clash for 14 damage. Mode shift wears off. They're now in buff mode. Okay. Um, strike. Uh, I won't play Reckless Charge this time. Don't want to get too dazed. Oh, maybe I should. Yeah, because then I'll have a card to exhaust, which is good. What does this button do? Oh, it reminds me, like, what bad stuff is hidden in the pile, or whatever. Okay. Mm, flame Barrier War off. Okay, so I'm gonna start by defending. Hmm... And I'm unblocked again. Hmm. This is hard. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna do a decent amount of damage. My goodness, I have a lot of anger in my in my hand now. I uh, just give myself that defense. There we go. That defense. That defense. Uh, I don't have flame wall, so it won't actually damage itself. But hmm. Let's see how we do. Sharp hide wears off. Now it's in attacking mode again. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's leave with a pummel strike. 
Got two cards, there we go. Hmm. We need to block. I've been blocking for five, which isn't great, but it's something. Uh... I am going to take damage. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it should have mode shifted, right? Oh no, it is eight more damage. Hmm. What potions do I have? Elixir, exhausting number of cards in your hand. I'll feel no pain lasts forever. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hard vine, six metallicized. I don't know what that does. Let's just find out. At the end of your turn, gain six block. Okay, so it's like delayed block. Do I, do I have the block now? Oh, maybe it sticks around longer. Maybe it's a permanent power. Because that would be really good. barrier. Um, now I can clash. Mode shift wears off. Uh, strike. And then they're going to use the spiky thing again. Sharp hide, that's the one. Uh, let me see, let me see. Start by defending. Which blocks some of the attack I get when, you hit, when I'm going to hit them now with Sharp Hide. There we go. Okay, then I can... Block again, and... I guess Strike? Yeah, that's going to weaken some of my block, but then it gets added back on because of Vitalicize. Okay, cool. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Doing alright. Um, do a reckless charge. And then bash. We did it! We beat the Guardian! Yes! 99 gold, add a card. I only get this card? Oh no, I get to pick. Three power cards. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. So that sticks around forever. Gain true vulnerable at the start of your turn. Gain energy. That sounds dangerous. Skills cost zero. Whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. I think Barricade is the strongest of those, so I'll take that. The merchant doesn't offer refunds. He is a jerk. <laughs> Alright. So is that the end? Or, like, I, I seem to be getting more stuff. Choose a relic. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer retain potions. Gain energy at the start of your turn. All enemies start combat with plus one strength. <laughs> Upon pickup, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Curse cards are negative cards that stay in your deck. Hmm. These all sound harmful. Hmm. Let's try the Philosopher's Stone. So I guess there's more to it after that boss that I fought? Oh, Act 2. Okay. Okay, I see. How many Acts are there, I wonder? Uh, let's start here. Battle start. Okay, so they start with one strength. I don't know if that sticks around forever or just one turn. or It might be permanent, which would be real bad. Um, they're going to do 12 damage, so I need... 
corresponding amount of defense. Uh, let's see. Let's start with a block. Uh, and then... Then I can use Reckless Charge, or I can use... I can use Clash. Let's use Clash. Because that's pretty good. Uh, and Reckless Charge. Uh, and Pummel Strike. And Regular Strike. And Regular Strike. And Anger. Cool. I did a decent slice of damage in the first turn. Uh, I can block some of this, but not all of it, so I will take a bit of damage back. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'm gonna play Feel No Pain. I think that's a permanent power. It confuses me. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a Strike. I'm gonna play a Strike. I could play a Thunderclap. That makes them vulnerable. I should have done that in the other order. I messed that up. Suffer. Oh, I got Hexed. What does that do? Hex. Whenever you play a non attack card, shuffle one daze into your draw pile. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna just shuffle a bunch of days into my draw pile, but it's also gonna protect me permanently, so that's good. Um, oh wait, no it won't. Right, it's just not removed at the start of the turn, but it is used up. I see, I see. That is harsh. Hmm. Okay. Playing barrier wears off. My hex is still going. Does it go away? I hope it goes away. <laughs> Thankfully I have the, um, feel no pain power, so when my cards are exhausted I get block for that. Like so. Which is helpful. Oh jeez, plus three strength? Ugh. That's not good. Uh, it doesn't really matter though, because I can just do that. <laughs> 13 gold, add a card to my deck. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. That's pretty good. Um... Lose 3 HP, gain energy, flex, I think rupture. What's this? Oh, it's the merchant, right. Hello, merchant. Hmm. These things look pretty good. Uh, hmm. Oh, that one's on sale. Hang on. Gain 5 block, deal 5 damage. That sounds good. I could use cards that do both. Uh... Uh, I think I want the Abacus. That sounds good. Uh, that'll do me. Uh, I like both. Both dogs and cats are good. Plated armor, you say? Okay, so that thing has 14 defense. At the end of its turn, gains 14 block. Receiving unblocked attack damage reduces plated armor by one. Oh my goodness. That's quite a maneuver there. Uh, I'm gonna play Rupture. And shrug it off on my first turn. Oh wait, I meant feeling the pain. But I can play shrug it off too, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I can do 16 damage, so let's do 16 damage. And I can't play Clash because I still have a defend left over. Dang it. Okay. Um... Oh, from a card. Okay, when an enemy attacks you, it doesn't work. Okay, I, I didn't realize that. That's disappointing. Oh my goodness. Um... So you have to pierce the defense in order to reduce its plated armor, basically. Um... It does a massive amount of damage, though. I am probably going to get owned. <laughs> Gain three block deal five damage, yes please. 
You know, 10 damage, yeah. We've nearly pierced that plated armor at this point. We're getting there. Clash is hard to use correctly. And the plated armor is... Oh no, it's not gone. Hang on. Oh right, yeah, it reduces by one each time you hit them. So you have to hit them a bunch of times. Okay. It's been reduced down to 5 though, which is pretty easy to pierce, so we're doing well. Although we are losing a lot of health. Um... Oh, we did it, yay! Uh, gold Swift Potion, add a card to your deck. Um... Ooh, that sounds powerful. 12 damage can be upgraded any number of times. Deal 9 damage to one card. I already have a pummel strike, I don't need another one. Um, I could maybe use another one, I don't know. Uh, Sever Soul is good if exhausting cards gives you defense, which one of my other powers does, so I might get that. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, there's two of them. Oh my goodness, I may be in trouble. Um, <laughs> let me see. It's an attack. Lock. Lock. Oh, right, I used up too much power. Um. Hmm. Oh, they use daze effects. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, I won't feel no pain active, because I have a card that exhausts things. Over here somewhere. In my discard pile, yep. Um I don't know if I want to use Reckless Charge because they're already dazing me. If I get dazed more I might be in big trouble. I went for it. Uh we'll see how we do. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we got one enemy left. We can do this, we can do this. We probably can't, but we're gonna try. What do I have? I'm gonna try playing some cards and maybe use a block potion if I need to. Hmm, I don't have the energy to hit that guy through his defenses. I need to use a block potion, okay. Uh, drink. Alright. Oh, I don't have barricade, that's right. Dang it. Hmm. I am gonna lose. Uh, I am about to lose to this guy.
Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> These defenses are too good. Oh my goodness. Oh, hang on, hang on, something's happening here. Oh. Oh, okay, I won, just. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was, that was a thing. Um, game nine block exhaust one card. Hmm. Yeah, let's give that a try. Oh no, there's another battle next. I am in trouble. I am in big trouble. Oh my goodness, I am in trouble. I got the back's gonna attack. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they hexed me. Alright. Fair enough. That's when you play a non-attack card, you get dazed, right? Yeah. Okay. Flame barrier. Oh, they weren't attacking. Dang. Hmm. Okay, I think I may be able to pull through and get to a rest stop. We'll see how we go. Uh, gain some block. Gain some more block. Okay, okay, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, Savasol was useful there because exhausting all those cards gave me more defense because of um, feel no pain. So that was cool. <laughs> uh, okay. That's not good. You were slain. Just my luck. Floors climbed. 20, 22. 110 points. Enemy slain. 9. 18 points. Exordium elites. 0. City elites killed. 0. Bosses slain. 1. 50 points. Oh, I see. You have to get to 300 points to get to the next unlock. Oh, I got a new character. Okay. I'm not sure why, because I will, shouldn't have gotten one yet. I think. I'm just misunderstanding how this works. Alright. <laughs> Slay the Spire. Well, uh, that's my first run that I tried to do. I, I lost. I can play Daily Climb now. And I can play as the Silent now. A deadly huntress from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. Oh, I see. Each character has separate unlocks to get. Okay, I'm... I can have to complete a run with the silent to get that one, and I have to win a standard run and have the third character unlock to get that one. Okay. Ring of the Snake. Start of each combat, draw two additional cards, but you don't heal. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, um, I think that's probably enough for this video, just giving you an idea of my first run. Um, this game's hard. Uh, 
What do the colors represent? Because they're clearly grouped by color. Is it the classes? Like, are these all belonging to the class I was playing as? And then there's the blue one. The green one would be the, the Huntress I just got. Then blue would be the third character, purple's the fourth. Maybe? And then the colorless cards are just used for everyone? I'm guessing. Then there's the curses. There they are. Don't know about them yet. Switch over view upgrade if you want. Oh yeah, all these cards get better. Oh, barricade? Oh, I see it makes it cheaper. It costs of 3 energy and then 2 energy. Alright, because yeah, the effect doesn't can't really be upgraded, so the price goes down. That makes sense. Uh, relic collection? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of starting relics. Yep. Common relics, I found a few of these already. Yep. Uncommon relics. The hourglass. Oh! Oh, that was a relic? That would have been useful, I should have gotten that. Uh, paper frog? Boosts the power of vulnerable, that sounds good. Uh, rare relics, I haven't seen any of those yet. Boss relics, yeah I saw those three. You can buy relics from the merchant and there's a couple of them there. And the potion lab? Oh I see, so the potions I've found... It tells you about all the potions, even though I definitely haven't seen some of these, so that's interesting. Hmm. Um, anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my first attempt to slay the spire which failed. I don't know how many acts there are to this game, so it's possible I didn't get very far at all, or it's possible I did a pretty good job. I don't know. Um, but that's the that's my first look at this game. I like it. I'm going to enjoy getting better at it, because I'm not very good at it yet. You could probably tell. But it looks pretty fun, and I think I'm going to enjoy playing more of this, because I like deck building card games, and this is one of them. And it's also uh, a spire slaying game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>